Okay, optical illusion number one. Gonna be uh, optical illusion cones. Probably the most simple design, um, but if you're not a great colorer, this might not be the one you wanna do. I'm gonna make a mark and I'm gonna put mine just a little off center. I'm gonna do um, a dot over here. This is gonna seem a little bit like one point perspective, but I promise it is not. I'm gonna line this up with a corner and I'm gonna draw this line. I'm gonna draw kind of light because I'm not sure exactly what colors I'm gonna do yet. Um, I wanna make sure that I have 12, uh, or I have an even number of lines. So that right there is one. Um, got two chunks. I'm gonna make that one a little bit thinner. Three. Four. Make this one big. Seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Oh, I'm gonna go with. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I need to get eleven, twelve out of this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm gonna split this one up right here, this big one. Because I don't like the way that one looks. Sorry, that was a little bit of two pieces of paper here. Okay. So now it doesn't matter which one I start with, but I'm going to make these lines go up sort of like a U shape. I'm going to keep them relatively consistent. Okay. Then I want to skip one and I want to make more U shapes and I want to make the same amount. So three, it's okay that they're not exactly the same amount, um, but I might want to run one off the edge. Same thing. Gonna do, so this one is a longer one. It's gonna have a bunch more, and I'm still doing those in a U shape, and I'm doing every other cone. I tried to be pretty consistent about my spacing. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to the ones I haven't done already and I'm going to make them opposite. So in this case, I did a U shape. In the next case, I'm going to do like a lowercase n, like a hump up. And I'm going to actually join those two and go up and go up. And you see how right here, I don't have another one here, so I can add that one if I wanted to. And then I'm gonna just make one up here just so it looks good. I'm gonna go over here. All the way to the edge. Now, I'm gonna continue going all the way around. We're talking about color. I wanna pick color that has high contrast, meaning that it has dark darks and light lights. So a good combination, obviously, a high contrast design would be black and white. So black and yellow would work, maybe a purple and a pale pink. Um, I can also do colors that are similar, like a blue and a green, and make sure that I'm coloring heavy. When I color on the heavy, the ups, 
Um, and this is going to be true for all of them. I want to be aware of where the line stops and I want to color really heavy at that edge and go lighter on the inside. If you want to, you can use multiple colored pencils and I'm going to say that you should use colored pencils here. I'll show you some examples. I'm going to color really heavy at the edge and I'm going to work my way to lighter. And in this case, I'm going to draw with my pencil a little bit lighter. So it's a pressure thing. And then I'm gonna think about where the reflection would go down the center. So in this case, I want to color heavy on the edge and lighter and lighter. And I wanna leave that edge piece light. Then I wanna do the same thing for the next one, but I wanna make this reflection line wiggle just a little bit. So I want to kind of go heavy over here. And if I want to do each stripe a different color, I could. And I want to try to blend as nice as I can as I go through. I have some examples for you and I'll show those in the next slides.